This is exactly as advertised. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, welcome in general. I love, by the way, seeing all of you call yourselves out and introducing yourself after watching these videos for 10 years. I see you. Today we're gonna to be exploring the world of TikTok shop. And if you're new or you don't know about TikTok shop, it's basically just, TikTok was like, I don't like when people are leaving the app to go and buy stuff that they see on our app. I want them to stay here and just buy it here. It's brilliant if you think about it. It's just a shopping marketplace with the videos all in one. You can check out everything in the TikTok app, which brings me to today. And while you can't actually shop through TikTok in Canada or really anywhere else in the world. I can still see all the videos, so I bought a bunch of this stuff and we're gonna test it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we can do a round two. And I wanna start off with a small business that I came across and I thought that this product was just so cool, so I bought it. The brand is called CE Craft Candles and they make these car fresheners. They look like this and they have essential oils in them. And basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it to make sure I'm doing it right. But you hang them and anytime you want to like refresh it, you tip it over because it has the essential oils in it and then it just wafts through the car. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so I got three different scents and I'm gonna show you, but first we're gonna, we need to smell them obviously. So first things first, I need to remove the stopper. They highly recommended using scissors. I tried using tweezers, like old ones. That didn't work. So I'm gonna need to go get some actual scissors. Hang on. Oh yeah, that was so much easier. Smooth like butter. Criminal undercover. Okay, this is Cactus Bloom. I'll put the notes up on the screen here. Oh, that's so nice. It's really fresh, a little sweet. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay, I'm really excited now. I definitely get the warm vanilla, the floral, and like the fruit, yeah, like I get all of those elements in there. That is awesome. Next one. This is Bourbon, Bourbon? Bourbon vanilla. Bourbon. <laughs> this, by the way, is apparently going to last about 60 days in the car if you're going in the car a lot and using it frequently. This one is supposed to be a mix of coconut milk, amber, bourbon, vanilla, sugar, musk, all the good stuff. Just like pops out like this, in case anyone was wondering. Ooh, I'm gonna have a hard time picking a favorite. Hold on. It doesn't smell like alcoholy, you know, with bourbons and, you know, it's like really like, like whiskeys, you know? I hate the smell of those alcohols. Like it's just, it's like motor oil. This has none of that, just that warmth, the muskiness, vanilla, but it's not super sweet vanilla. It's like that beautiful rounded note. It's just, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful is the wrong word. It's very warm and like calming. And then I got, coffee and a book. I thought that was so cute. And this one, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's gonna hopefully smell like coffee. Mm, this one's a little too sweet for me. I definitely smell the coffee and really, really sweet vanilla. It smells like um, putting really like the vanilla coffee cream into like a lot of it into a cup of coffee. And I think there will be a lot of people that love that smell. It's just, it's a hair too sweet for me personally, but I really love the other ones. And because it's February, I wanna do the vanilla one. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna put the lid on real tight. This is a wood lid. There we go. Secure lid on tightly, done. Hang on rear view mirror with the wooden ball below any knot tied. <laughs> and then you tip the bottle over for one to two seconds and allow the fragrance to lightly wet the lid. And then you turn it back over and because it's in the wood there, it's going to dissipate the scent in throughout the car, which is just, I love it so much. One to two seconds here, people. We're not trying to get all of the oil out of the wood. Don't want that in the car. We're just gonna go one, two. <gasps> Look it. Like obviously that's gonna work. I just got really excited about it. And that's really interesting because it smells different. Not different, different's the wrong word. Different notes, I'm picking up different notes. I'm smelling more of that um, under notes of bourbon, but not like aggress, like a good, Bourbon. Oh, that's so nice. I'm gonna put that in the car. I bet Chris is going to love that. That's amazing. That's, I love this so much. And they have so many 
different scents, so many. I think you can even get refills. You can, you can get little refills. They have a little dropper and then you just pour it into the container that you already have. That's so cool. This is awesome. I love it so much. We are off to a strong start. Oh, ooh, let's do this one next. Okay, these I see a lot and they just look very mesmerizing. Um, and it's this sand, uh, like a sand art picture. And you just have it going in the background kind of thing. Was, was, oh, you can't see it. This thing. I have no idea how this works. Check the bubbles. Shake the product gently, then the bubbles will show up. Get all the bubbles to go all the way across. What? You have an air regulation? What's happening? The sand often gets stuck. Just take out a bit of air. If it moves too fast, add air. Apparently I'm not gonna need to do anything, it says. Just some tips and tricks, you know? She's packed in there. A syringe? Why is there a syringe in here? Ugh, this looks... I mean, I have seen syringes for products. This looks like a straight up needle. Do you see that? Like, look at the tip on that. Okay, that's just a little bit scary. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Okay, what do I do now? Does it have a stand or something? Can I put it on something? Ha, there it is. Okay, so all I should have to do is just rotate. Ooh. Ooh. And have this go in the background. Trying to pay attention to me now. Spoiler alert, you won't. I just want to stare at it now. I know it's really straightforward. There's not a lot to it. And I can add air in if I want <laughs> with this needle. If I want the sand to go slower. Maybe we'll try that. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared to open this thing. Well, that's what that is, in case you were wondering. That's what it does. I feel like that would just distract me all day. I kind of like it. It has glitter in it too. It's like gold. It's really pretty. Okay, this one is very random. It's very random, but I came across so many videos of this that I had to buy it. And it's called Fast, Fast Push Intelligence Game. It's like, pfft. I'm gonna get that immediately. I need to know what that means. It's this right here. And it's like a hand-eye coordination kind of game thing. And it's on a frog. What do I do first? Oh, you just push the back and it pops all the, bu the bubbles forward. Okay, can I turn it on? Oh, I need batteries. Oh, and it has like the... I know this is for safety and I, and I appreciate it, I do, but... I hate when it's a screw. Uh, okay, hang on. All right, battery's in. Welcome to the- It was so loud, I didn't like that. Oh, okay. I was just doing this over and over. Level two. Okay. Just wanted to turn it off. What's tripping me up is getting this thing in the back. I can see this being really, really fun. I'll let you guys know what my uh, my kids think of this and how fast they can do it. I can see them really enjoying it. I'm already like getting distracted, like wanting to finish the level. <laughs> okay, Rachel, you need to stop. Turn it off, there we go. I mean, it is fun. I can also see people getting very bored of it very quickly. We'll see what my kids think though. Okay, the next product that I found, it just looked really pretty and I couldn't find mine of this so I needed to buy it. It was very vague. It's just a lint roller, but it's like a rolly one and it's just like really pretty. So you can see. How fun is that? I don't actually know how it works. Oh, guess that's it. It's like, like sticky. Oh, that's really sticky. It's not leaving a residue though, so that's good. So I have a lot of dust particles on my pants. Did pick up some stuff though. So what I did is I took a black shirt because I was hoping that you could see the white carpet that I shook it into. Can you see that at all? Can you see all the, I, I don't I don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea. You can kind of see it, I, I think. So this is just a very awkward angle to be testing this at. Basically the big thing for this, ooh, this is actually really nice, is that you can take this ball out and clean it and then it'll just go back to being sticky again and you don't have to use those those sheets? Do you know the sheets? Ugh, sheets drive me nuts. I mean, it is working very well. Easy to move over top of all of the clothes, which I like. Like if I'm using it on myself, very easy to roll across. I feel like it's a lot easier than the bar, the wand thing. I kind of like this. It's picking up some stuff too. See, all right. And then I can just take this out to wash it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this underwater and see if it comes off, I guess. 
Yep, it's getting entirely clean now. Wow. Now does it get sticky again? That's the question. I'm gonna let this dry for a minute because obviously if I put any fabric or anything on it, it's just gonna stick to it as it dries. So give me a minute. Oh yeah, on the spots where it's dry already, it's already tacky again. That is so cool. Yep, yep, I like this. It has a little travel case. Look at that. Thumbs up, I like it. I wanna put air into this thing. I wanna see what it looks like if it's slower. This feels incorrect to be doing. This is not a toy. Do not put this near children. I'm gonna put air into it and see and see if that does anything. I don't know if that, that did anything. I guess I have to do more. It is adding more air. Okay, well, what does it look like now? I don't understand. <laughs> you can see me through. Hello. I guess it's slower in terms of, because there's an air pocket here, how quickly it touches the water, but it doesn't actually slow the, the sand through the water, if that makes sense. Eh, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It's just not like, wow, you need this. Okay, now you may have noticed if you've been here before, but I'm not wearing any accessories. And I normally, I like to wear accessories. I like to, you know, wear sweats and like glam up with makeup and nails and jewelry. And that is because I came across, well, technically I came across a jumpsuit that was just selling like crazy on TikTok shop. And in going to purchase the jumpsuit, I went and looked at all the different things. And then all of a sudden I had a big cart full of stuff and I ordered it. And it's all from um, Cider, Cider Shop, Cider Clothing, I don't know. So we're gonna try them all on, but I wanna like unbox them with you and like get firsthand with you what they're like. Otherwise it just ruins the fun. I don't wanna see them before you. Let's start with the jumpsuit. So the jumpsuit that started it all, um, is this one right here. I got it in two colors because I need you guys to tell me which one, if they're nice, if they're nice, which one I should keep. Because I couldn't decide. So it's this jumpsuit right here. The one that I saw, she was wearing the green one and it's beautiful, but everything I own is green. I don't know what when that happened or why, but every everything I own is green. Anyway, this is the jumpsuit. It's got a little bit of a, a ribbed detail. It feels very thin and it's supposed to sit here like under the bust. So we'll see if that it actually is how it goes. It looks like it'll be long enough. It's very stretchy, which is nice. So I got it in this like purple color. Actually, ooh, Christopher. Christopher, can you smell this? Probably not. It's for the car. It's bourbon vanilla. I like those things. I know. One more than the other. <laughs> Smells like alcohol. Really? I thought you would like that one. I, it's fine. I'm gonna put it in no. the car and see if it like sure. smells of the car. I like that one. Can't smell it. No, not really. All right, fair enough. You wanna smell those ones? Yeah. You have to open it though. That's the coffee one. It's the cactus bloom. Whatever. <laughs> That's the cactus bloom one. I mean, I can't smell anything, so I would believe you if you said it was coffee. <laughs> I very nearly poured it out onto the carpet. <laughs> that would be bad. And then this one is the coffee one. This one was not my favorite because it's very sugary. You see that I like. Oh, I can interesting. smell that and I like it. There you go, everyone. Who knew? Oh, that one in my car. You want this one in your car? Okay. So anyway, the other one I got was in this blue color. Like, look at that. I don't know what it is about this, but it's just, it's such a, like a chef's kiss to me. Like this royal blue. I don't know, it, maybe it'll look cheap on, but like, I really like this so far. So we'll try this on. It is so close, so close. Not quite though. First. Pros, I really like this color. I think this is a really standout color. I like that it's nice and stretchy. I like that there's a little bit of detail here. However, this does not sit under my bust, which I mean, I should have seen this coming because this is literally always been the case. Just never does. And then it is unfortunately <laughs> Too short. I will say I have to like bend down here so I can see you, hello. The fabric feels like you will be able to see a lot through it. It's quite thin. It's that thin stretchy ribbed material. So like seamless underwear kind of situation. Although it is pretty roomy and stuff like that. The other thing is for my specific bra, like you can kind of see it peeking out, which isn't my favorite. There are gonna be people for sure that this will be a good match for. I don't think it's a bad product per se. Uh, it just isn't, made for me. <laughs> and that's okay. Not everything is gonna be. Tried it, we experimented, it's enough. Okay, well, hopefully that worked. I haven't actually gotten up to do that yet, but you saw the footage, because now we're gonna go on to the next thing. And this one, we're gonna do some jewelry. And I don't know if you've seen online, but bows are trending. And I I think I, I went a little too 
heavy into the bows. I don't know why, but I got really excited about it. Um, so I got this ring. It's like a little, a little tiny bow and it's silver. I haven't gotten silver jewelry in so long. So I kind of got excited to like branch out a little bit. I don't know if this one's my favorite. This one doesn't, um, it's not giving what I want it to, but it's not bad. It's just like not my favorite, I don't think. I don't know, let me know what you think. Probably just needs to be like accessorized with like other silver things, you know? What is this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So sometimes with me, what I like to do is I like to buy pants that are like a size bigger for me because I, I just like where they sit and how they feel because I don't know, fluctuations throughout the day. I don't like when my pants feel tight. It just really bothers me. But then sometimes they're just a little too loose or I buy clothes for my kids and sometimes they don't fit it yet. And so I came across these and they're so freaking cute. Basically, let me show you. There are these two little clips. They came in, there's a ton of different, there's like little diamond ones. These came in a pack of three of, you know, different bears, which I just thought were super cute. And you pin them into the jeans, assume it's jeans. So you do it on two sides and then you pinch them together and then the bears hold hands and they keep your pants like tightened together. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I really only have one pair of jeans that I really want to do this for. So we will try that. Okay, excuse my grimy t-shirt. I washed these jeans because they had like, um, you know, kids paint, but it's that paint that goes on the window thing. I got it on my jeans and I tried to wash it off. Now I can, there it is. Do you see this? I can't get it off, any tips? Anyway, I washed them, didn't dry them. I hate putting on jeans after you them. <laughs> However, in doing so, apparently, um, I've shrunk them mildly. They're not as um, loose as they once were, but we're still gonna try this. You have to like twist these to get it off? Yep, I think so. That makes sense for safety. You have to like pull the back out and then it flings off. Now, don't do what I'm doing and just stab it into your clothes. This isn't, this isn't a good idea. Now, it feels quite secure on there. I was worried it was just gonna like kind of fling on, but you have to pull the back to like spring it to get it off, you know? It doesn't just like come off. And then clearly these are gonna be <laughs> really close together because otherwise I won't be able to close them. So we're just gonna all pretend that these are a lot looser than they actually are. I'm gonna go really close up so you can see them. How cute are those? They're really cute. Again, we have to pretend. I feel like this, I, I put them too close together. There. Now granted, they're not actually doing anything, but you get the picture. That is freaking adorable. Can you imagine those on the back of like, let's put them on the back of your pants. Oh my gosh. We're like a little cute crappie and have those. I mean, there is a market. I feel like some of you are vibing with that, right? I really like those. I think they're so fun. And again, you don't have to get bears. They have like these little like sparkle ones too and gold and silver, just like a bunch of stuff. But I thought the bears were fun and also wanted to see if maybe they'd be usable on my children's clothes. These are cool, I like them. Okay, next I have this sweater and I am really excited about this sweater. I am hoping that this is gonna be long enough on me. I'm gonna be so sad if it's not. It's like a little cardigan. And do you guys remember when I was bamboozled with that flower dress? It was like, this is this is what I wanted with the pictures and the florals, and this is what I got. You know that audio, no? This is exactly as advertised. It is this sweater right here with the little knit flowers on it. You cannot tell me that's not freaking adorable. Oh my gosh, I am really excited about this. Oh, please be long enough, please be long enough. <gasps> Guys, I think it's gonna be long enough. Now, the one thing, one thing, is that the flowers are only on the front. They are not on the back of the sweater. So I don't know what that's gonna look like and if that's gonna look weird. I really dislike when clothing companies put this really cool pattern on the front and then they like cut it off and then just do like a flat on the back. And I know it's like, up saving money kind of thing, but like it just, it doesn't look good. So let's start on this next. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited to put on. I'm really hoping this looks good. Oh my gosh, does it look cute? Is it cute everyone? I think so. I think I like this. Not usually, I don't know. Cardigans feel weird on me, but I, I kind of, I'm, I'm digging this. Does one do up the bottom part of a cardigan? Is that how one wears it? I don't know. I feel like I want a different color though. This white isn't, 
the same cream tone as the sweater. So I probably wouldn't do this color, but you could do a different color or white. I mean, whatever floats your boat. It's a little too off white though. Maybe I could even do like a charcoal or something. I don't know. Does it look weird when it doesn't have anything in the back though? Be real with me. Is it weird or is it fine? I really like this and look at this everyone. Look how long it is and the arms, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Next, we're gonna do two products, two in one, because I have a shirt and I also bought boots. I don't know what possessed me to buy these boots, but I got really excited about them. This is the first thing, and I saw it and I j it just felt very classy, and it's this like camel tone. Oh my gosh, I think it will be really nice. Kind of a shirt, it has a bit of a shoulder pad situation, which I really like, and it's just like a very simple knit. And I just, I think it looks really pretty. I think this is gonna look good. I have a, I have a good feeling about this one. And then with it, for no reason at all, I feel like this might ruin it. I got, <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're shopping online and you're like, I don't know what possessed me to buy that, but I got excited about it. So here we are. I've been very into chrome things or like looking for ch like chrome accessories. So I decided, what better way to make it like a statement? Cause I don't have a lot of statement shoes. I wear a lot of running shoes. I thought let's do a, a statement boot and I got these. <laughs> yeah. Let me try, let me, let me see what I can do with the other. They're gonna look really weird with, um, with that shirt. But I was really excited about these. They look so good in the picture. They're kind of cushy on the inside. I don't know, they could, they could be fun. Okay, I, I love, did I wear this backwards? Can't tell, it feels like it could go either way. I love this. It is so ridiculously soft. However, the arm things, like I'm sure I could find like a cute, like bandeau or something to wear underneath it, you know? It's not, it doesn't feel like a deal breaker to me. And I think that it's like a, it's a cute fit. I could wear it with like my cream effortless pants. They would look very effortless. I kind of like it. I think the color's pretty nice. Now let's try it on with the boots. Ruin the vibe or maybe make it better. Sometimes juxtaposition is important in fashion. Oh wait, there's stuff in huh. They fit like a glove. You can't see this, hang on, okay. Can you see it? Can you see them now? <laughs> I can't really see them. I need to move my mirror down. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Truthfully, they're kind of fun. I am not mad at these. They're not uncomfortable. Like I'm sure if I was walking around a lot, they'd be uncomfortable, but like they're not uncomfortable. They're kind of lined on the inside. I mean, with a black dress, very eras tour, you know? They're freaking cute. You're gonna have to convince me that these are not amazing because I love them. There's a moment for these and I feel like it's not this outfit, but there is a moment for these. And again, like I said, actually comfortable that I was not expecting. You do like a midi skirt, like a black, like an all black moment, silver jewelry, silver boots, sequiny or some sort of like shimmery bag. Do like a blazer. I think that'd be pretty. The boots, yeah, love them. <laughs> okay, ooh, some more jewelry. We have another silver ring because I decided I just woke up that day and decided I was a ring girl. Never wear rings except my <laughs> engagement and wedding band. But nope, decided I was gonna be a ring girl. I just, I, rings don't suit me. I think they just look so weird. Why did I do that? They just don't look right on me. They always look so good online and like people, you know, put them together with stuff and I just, they never look good on me. Ugh. Okay, what about, okay, maybe. And remember when I said I was really excited about bows? <laughs> so I got these earrings, but I thought they could be like really nice and I don't know. I'm not gonna put them in my ear yet, but like, do we like these? Honestly, they're actually kind of fun. I kind of like those. Tell me honestly, should I keep these? It's a keep, right? I kind of like those. And then lastly, because I just decided I don't have enough silver jewelry and it's having a moment right now and I wanted to participate. So you guys know my my favorite um, gold earrings. They're over there from Amazon. I think they're Pavoy. So I got 
this version. Oh my gosh, I really like those. Oh, those look really cool. No, I'm a fan of that. I think these are gonna be your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I will put a note somewhere on here or I'll put it into the um, info bar by whatever they are just to let you know how they feel in the ears. Typically what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of cream. I think you guys had suggested in a video like ages ago and I've been doing it ever since. Such a good tip. Taking a little bit of cream or like a Vaseline or I don't know, like some sort of cream and putting it on the earring right here before you slide it into your ears and it helps to protect your ears from getting irritated. It's been such a game changer. I just finished trying on all those clothes and I thought this was the end and I wasn't gonna get one of the products that I was kind of hoping to get and it came. Last possible second, it arrived and it is the uh, Seishu Lip Liner Stay In I'm too excited. Peel off lip liner tattoo. Yeah, you may have seen the videos going around. A lot of people have been trying it and being like, oh, this looks really scary. And then they peel it off and they're like, this is amazing. Now I will preface this, that I am doing this for science. All right, I am doing this because I know there are a lot of people that look incredible in a lip liner, incredible. I am not one of those people and I accept it, it's fine. What I wanna know is the longevity, how easy was it to apply and peel off? what the color ended up looking like, how it looks with gloss or like a lipstick on, so you can make an informed decision. I have no horse in this race. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you like it is, as I always do. So I bought the shade Mwa-E. Mwa-E. Ye. V. No, sorry. <laughs> it's not a Y. It's a V. I get it. It's like a kiss, like Mwa, but it's Mo, I, I get it, I get it. It's, tr tr it's tricky though. Anyway, I got the mauve one and I'm going to apply it because, okay, I need you to know, this is one of those peel off things, all right? It's gonna be an intense color and then it's gonna peel away and not be intense, apparently. I'm a little bit nervous that I'm gonna do this wrong. <laughs> Busted, get paid to post is what it says. So if you post about it and you talk about it, then you can get paid. I'm not doing that, just so we're very clear. <laughs> How to use. Make sure your lips are hydrated and not chapped. Excellent. Exfoliate, wash, and dry lips. All right. Leave on for 20 minutes. Ugh. All right. Let me um, exfoliate my lips fully. Hold on. I'm so angry, everyone. So <laughs> here I am, once again, forgetting to... <laughs> press record. You may be wondering what's happening on <laughs> my lips right now. So I exfoliated and then I came in here and started to um, apply this to my lips. And here we are. It's really hard to make sure it is even. Christopher. <laughs> Do you like it? Um, <laughs> it's that, no, that's black, right? Technically it's a peel off. So it's gonna come off. So it does come off. Yeah. Okay, that's answer to question number one. <laughs> what, you don't like this? You extend it out a little further and curl it. <laughs> Your mustache, wish it could, Christopher. Wish me luck, Christopher. Good luck taking that off. <laughs> I don't know if I said this or I just said this to my camera that was off. It's me staring at my camera angrily. But the wand is weirdly long. I, do you see me checking? Panicked that it wasn't recording? It is recording, it's fine. It, it just, it makes it hard to wield a little bit. Well, I think this is as good as it's gonna get, people. So now I have to wait until this is ready to peel off. 20 minutes, be right back. All right, it's been the full 20 minutes now. Maybe 15, it could have been 15, but approximately. But okay, let's see. Wait a second. That's a really pretty color. Okay, hang on. I need to do the rest of this. It is quite satisfying to peel off too. I was really curious how the top looked, so I stopped. Hold on. I feel like it's a little intense over here. If you are someone who wears lip liner a lot, I mean, okay, well that's not it. What about this? This is more of a like mauve color. The lip line is so intense. I'm trying to find the right mauve to like take it down a notch. But maybe, maybe this is this is your your vibe. Like having a, a really strong, like a bold liner. I know that's also a look. I don't know. I feel like I did something here. This isn't that isn't right. But I think the other side worked. Now again, lip liner is not my look, everyone. It isn't. However, I want to test it. 
I'm just wiping it. I don't have, uh, um, I was gonna say self tanner. I don't have any uh, um, makeup remover on it. Just wanted to see it would start to like wipe off. I can't get that a little piece off. But in terms of mauve lip liner, I mean, that is that is what it is. Honestly, I wish it looked better on me, you know? You know, it's taken off like all of my foundation around the outside. Gotta touch that up a little bit. I would love for this to be my look, Connie baby, but uh, it's really not but that's okay because it worked. So let me know in the comments if you've come across any of these on just your For You page or through TikTok shop. If there are any others that you've seen that we should try out next time, leave them down below and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And new videos here every single Thursday. Would love to have you back. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next one.